Look what Speedy Bee sent me for review. Let's make it really quick. An F405 mini stack with a 35 amp Bill Haley S ESC board. Hello and welcome, RC Shim in the hangar. Speedy Bee asked me to promote their flight stack, so they sent me two of these for review. If you're interested in drones, you for sure have heard of Speedy Bee. They have a lot of nice little flight controllers. They are quite feature rich and they even have their own app. They can use your phone, Bluetooth or wireless, to connect to the flight control and set up stuff on the go. Change your pits, change motor direction. I'm, I'm not sure if it works, but I will test it out. Really nice what kind of tech we get, quite affordable. So if you buy it separately, it's $32 each. In a pack it's $60, very reasonable price, rated as a 35 amp times 4 ESC port. They even tested it on 5 inch drones, but yeah, you shouldn't go too high there. So it's a 3 to 6S ESC port. But the real question is, do you really see the impact of a good flight controller on the flight behavior? From their marketing material, they tell you that they do a lot of filtering. The gyro is as noise free as possible which will ultimately result in a cleaner flight behavior. Let's make a quick unboxing. Info card with a manual download. Packed also as usual. Bedded in foam. The FC board itself. And the EUC board. And a little bit of accessories. The capacitor, an XT30 lead. M2 screw set and M3 screw set should contain everything you need to mount the FC and the ESC board on your computer. For example, I have this old Gepard baby crocodile. The important stuff about the ESC board is that it is reliable and it doesn't fail on you. They are tiny. I mean, they are almost some size. USB-C, of course. It also features the little battery checker LEDs and a lot of solder pads. It has the usual large set of features, Bluetooth wireless capabilities. For UARTs is more than we need, a built-in barometer, more precise altitude, 8 MBs of black box storage. I think the main selling point of the Speedy B stack is the low price, $60 for a feature rich thing. I mean, we're in a good position now again that the FCs are not as expensive as last year. That's the good news. That's a fun size comparison between a 30 and a 20 mil stack. That's their Speedy 405 version 3 from last year. And down is the new Speedy F405 Mini, it's just called. And here I'm kind of surprised about my Self. I managed to fit in the Speedy B, which was not too hard. I had to just cramp in the Vista in the front here. And one thing that I also tested with this build is I used RC Link from the Vista. Of course, I had to solder in those 12 motor wires, which, if you pre tin this, it applies some solder grease before. It really works nice. I learned this. And I also had to solder these pins here straight from the Vista to the board. It's all side by side, which is convenient. And of course, you should always use the cap if you find the space for it, because it reduces the risk of spikes going through to the port and damaging it. Nothing smoked or burned away immediately, so <laughs> apparently I sold it up correctly. These two LEDs show me that I have only like 50% in this battery, which is a nice little indicator. I think this is the Bluetooth antenna. Yeah, and right when I started my speedy B app and already was concerned about it being up to date, I found a new version which explicitly says it will support the F405 mini flight controller and fixes some things, so I want to update it. And it's nice and easy. I plugged in the battery. Let the phone turn on Bluetooth and it found it instantly connecting. <laughs> Bluetooth connection failed. <laughs> okay, so if it doesn't connect for you, plug it in and then 
don't wait too long until you connect it via the app, then it works. Flash to beta flight 442, of course. And as promised, here is the test of the motor direction. I know it should be done without props, but it really spins it slowly, just so you tap and the thing you want to change. Now it's going the wrong way, and I reverse it. Successfully changed. And it really changed the motor direction. That's a really handy feature and I'm glad it works now. And those damn components are so small I had to, I had to make some drastic moves and use these goggles, but they really work on soldering. I very much appreciate SpeedyBee sending me stuff to try out. That enables me to do a project like this old copter with a new ESC and a new flight controller board. And that's a lot of fun. So you never run out of drones or projects. <laughs> so uh, let me know in the comments what are your current uh, drones that you fly them the most. Torn between my 7 inch drones because they just fly smooth and between planes like the Dolphin. What are you flying these days? And what do you want to see on my channel? Let's give me some feedback. I really very much enjoy the FPV meetings, of course, and I try my best to keep my fleet <laughs> intact so I have enough stuff to fly on the meetings. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.